Welcome to Scum Survival 0.9. So we've just gotten a huge update and in this update we've gotten new bunkers, we've gotten two new bosses, we've gotten a light machine gun which is M249 and this is probably one of the more difficult updates that we've ever gotten in the game because these new abandoned bunkers are very difficult because they have two new bosses but those bunkers are pretty worth it as they have some decent loot inside of those bunkers and hey we've just spawned in here inside of this B2 sector and just in case if you don't know what Scum Survival is about it's a zombie survival game and you have to survive here luckily we have a town very close to us in this b2 sector so i'm definitely gonna go there for those who have never played scum survival let me quickly give you here a few tips and tricks on how to get started with this game so you always need to have some sort of a knife in order to craft anything in this game just find here this pile of rocks and if you want to search more rocks just walk around this pile of rocks and hey you'll be able to search more rocks now once you find these rocks go to crafting and here you can have this stone knife so craft this stone knife so we've gotten this stone knife now we can add this thing to our inmate paints because everything you craft is going to be here inside of this vicinity basically on the ground so now our next step is to craft some sort of weapons because here in front of us if i'm not mistaken we have a gas station but in order to loot that we'll have to fight a couple of zombies and we won't be able to fight them just with fists i mean you could probably kill those zombies with fists if you wanted to i never try <laughs> doing that though it is very easy to craft some basic items some basic tools so that's what we're gonna do just find here some sort of a bush chop it down and from that bush you can get here a bunch of these sticks so first thing first i'm gonna cut down this longer stick into an improvised wooden spear and as you can see all around the screen now we have this some sort of a frozen effect so that means my character is cold we can go to metabolism to health and it says that i am feeling cold so the treatment to feeling cold is pretty simple i think we can run around a bit if you start running a lot check this out the coldness meter disappeared <laughs> we are no longer cold but if we just stay in one spot we'll start getting cold again but the best remedy to being cold is just finding some better clothes okay we've gotten this wooden spear let's add it here now to the first slot so we'll be able to at least fight some of these zombies with this spear but hey that's not where a crafting adventure ends i highly advise you to craft a bow and a small backpack because currently we don't have here a lot of space we can't store anything with five smaller sticks we can craft this tree bark rope which is located over here in this items menu hopefully Hopefully one day we'll be able to get here a search menu so they can just type in and find whatever you want to find. Now we can go to crafting. Let's craft our first ever 20 pound bow. I've added here the bow to the second slot. Now there's only one more thing that we need to do is craft ourselves a backpack. So inside of this crafting menu we can craft this improvised courier backpack but for that we need to have some rags and some more rope. And now here comes a tricky part. In order to craft this courier backpack we need to have three rags and you can get those rags by cutting down your own clothes. So let's cut down this undershirt into rags and then I'm going to cut down my socks into rags as well if we don't get enough rags there we go here we've just gotten two rags so let's go here and let's cut down my socks into rags as well so there we go now we have three rags we also have the street bark rope but check this out we still cannot craft this courier backpack because we do not have a stone knife our stone knife just broke so we need to craft another one luckily we have here some more rocks and there we go with a new stone knife we can start crafting this improvised courier backpack so yeah, i thought i'll give you some of these basic tips and tricks to start with the game in case if you've never heard of scum survival because this game can be very tricky if you've never played it before now i have a few wooden sticks so let's craft some wooden arrows let's drop that stuff in the backpack and that is it i don't think there is anything else i need to tell you because these are the basics once you know the basics you can just go there and explore the game so i've just crafted a few more arrows we have eight arrows out of 12 i think that is enough and I am somewhat of a bow guy, so I would prefer to use my bow rather than a spear. Oh, and check this out. There in front of us, we have a town. That's epic. So let's try to loot this gas station and then we'll hop into that town. And as I said, I'm somewhat of a bow guy rather than a spear guy. It's a lot easier to deal with these zombies using a bow. To go in first person, you can just click enter. Let's deal with a few of these puppets. Okay, so we do have a little bit of gasoline here, except the sad part is I don't have a vehicle, so we don't need that gasoline. However, I am going to deal with this zombie. How about I open up this door? I'm gonna close this door. And let's deal with some of these guys. Let's see if this gas station has anyone else. And there was this cash registry. We've gotten 34 cash. I will get that. There are traders on the map in these green sectors over here. And like B4, Z2 sector, etc, etc. You can go there and buy some stuff from them once you have more cash. We've already gotten here some bobby pins. I will get them for now because if we get a screwdriver, I will be able to start loading some police departments. And police departments in this game are pretty great. You can get some weapons, you can find pistols and a bunch of other stuff. Ooh, some more cash. I didn't even mention that we can also loot these zombies 
Sometimes they drop something nice. Sometimes they can drop your cash. Well, it looks like I have looted this gas station. I couldn't find here anything else. Wait, there's a bicycle. Don't tell me. Oh, no. I thought it's a working bicycle. I was like, don't tell me it's a working bicycle. <laughs> it doesn't have a wheel. It's so annoying that these bicycles don't spawn with all the wheels. That would have been perfect. That would have been amazing. Okay, we have one more zombie here. Goodbye, schmuck. And I'm actually disappointed that we don't have this bicycle. Would have been so awesome to get from point A to point B. Well, whatever. We have a few more zombies and then we have here some sort of a grocery store or that's a convenience store. I have no idea. Oh my goodness. I missed so many shots. It's just some sort of a tiny goop store. That's what it is. And I've lost some of my arrows. I just shot them. It's a lot easier to see them in your vicinity. I mean, it was here on the ground, but we found it. So I had eight arrows. Now I have only six as I've already lost some of them. Oh, I just found one more on the ground. Let's pick that stuff up. Let's deal with one more of these puppets. For those who don't know, these zombies in this game are called puppets. Because this game has like some sort of a story. You're basically a prisoner here on this island. These puppets were like ex-prisoners. I mean, they're still prisoners because they are all on <laughs> this island. And sometimes there are drones flying around, meaning that sometimes there are maybe some rich people looking at us. Maybe this island is like some sort of a TV reality show for them. I don't know. In any case, don't get too deep into it. There are zombies, kill them, shoot them. And that's it. That's how I look at them. Here, we did find an egg here. I think we can eat this egg like that. I don't think nothing bad is going to happen. Okay, everything is all right. Another tip and trick. Once you eat, look at your stomach volume. If it goes above 100%, you will die. Your stomach will rupture and you will die. So be very careful. Don't eat too many things. Okay, we've gotten a parsnip. I will pop this entire parsnip. Why not? Okay, so we've gotten 35 calories from the parsnip. We have gotten 70 something calories from that egg. Plus we've gotten this pot that I'm not gonna use. And that is it. It looks like we've looted this entire store. And there's one more thing that I've almost forgotten to loot. There we go. There's this building. And sometimes here you can find a pistol on top of this table. Well, this time we've just gotten a padlock. And is that it? Do we have anything else? Nope, we've just gotten some matches, so that is it. We have looted this entire gas station. Now, let's sprint towards that town over here. Luckily, it's very close to us. Wait, am I tripping? Is that a vehicle in front of us? That's gotta be a vehicle. So there we go. We are in this town called Spitzkovina. So, welcome to Spitzkovina, everybody. And there is a car already in front of us. I can't believe that. Is it working? I mean, it'll be amazing if it works. And that's awesome, but I don't think it has all the wheels because to use these vehicles, you have to find wheels. Sometimes you have to find engines and other stuff. And nope, this vehicle does not have an engine. It doesn't have any wheels. It has nothing. I did hear a goat there. It doesn't matter. So it's like some sort of a hunting event. You have to follow the sounds and then maybe you'll be able to do something with it. Also, some people don't know how to see north in this game. So you have to have your survival skills at least at basic. So when you are creating your character, try to get at least a basic and then you'll be able to see north. Or you can find a compass in this game and then you won't need to have your survival skill at basic. Okay, let's get this. And do we have any more zombies here? Perhaps one more. Nope, that's it. That's pretty clean. So usually when I loot these towns, the first thing that I'm searching for is some better clothes because we've just started here. It's a new account. For those who were watching my previous series, we are done with those series because we've gotten a brand new update. So we are starting from the beginning. And we've kind of accomplished everything in those previous series. We had the best gear. So it's time for us to start from the beginning. And yeah, what I'm searching for is basically some new clothes because we don't have anything too fancy here. I'd love to find a better backpack. I'd absolutely love that. If we don't find a backpack, we could maybe craft one ourselves. I usually don't craft backpacks in this game. I bigger backpacks. I craft simple backpacks, but I don't really craft bigger backpacks. Okay, let's get those arrows, and we did get this firefighter jacket. I can equip it, and it is kind of broken, but it does have some storage, and plus I am a little bit cold, so how about we use it? Right, how about we use this thing? Okay, let's go to the second floor, and do we have any sleeping beauties here? Nope. No zombies are here. In my experience, usually these wardrobes have a high chance of giving you a backpack. Except not this time. I got nothing from that wardrobe. So I've looted a few of these buildings. Let's hop into another building. I don't really know if I'll be looting here every single building. But we'll see. I need some loot. Usually once you progress a little bit further, once you have like some basic gear, then looting these buildings becomes kind of pointless. As you don't really have to have everything. It's a lot better to go and loot some of the bunkers. Oh, and hey, speaking of bunkers, as I said, we have gotten a new update. We have gotten here a bunch of new bunkers. I think we have only four old bunkers in the entire game. And all of the other bunkers were converted into abandoned bunkers. And those abandoned bunkers are pretty difficult. There are two new bosses. We have Mr. Brenner. We have Razor. And I'm very excited to go and loot that place. Oh, we've gotten here. What is that? So we've just gotten this cauliflower. And we've gotten 60-something calories from it. Whatever. 
It's better than nothing. Well, this house didn't have any clouds either. Oh, there's a garage. So for those who didn't know, garages are very nice to loot. There are a few buildings in this game that are very worthwhile. And those important buildings include garages because here you can find screwdrivers. You can also find vehicles here. You can find maybe some vehicle parts, but usually it's all about the screwdrivers. Just loot these boxes and you need those screwdrivers to start lock picking things in this game because the police departments are gonna require you to have screwdrivers and lock picks. And sadly, this garage didn't give us anything. Okay. Usually every city has at least a few garages, so that was only one of them. I'm sure we have more. There we go. There's already one more garage over here. How about I just hop into this basic building? Oh no, there was a zombie. Goodbye. Sleep permanently now. Thank you very much. A wardrobe. We did get a new shirt, so I think I can get rid of my inmate shirt. And we can get this better shirt, even though it's kind of... Okay, it's not the same. It does have double the storage of this inmate shirt. So let's maybe keep this inmate shirt. I'm going to cut it into rags, perhaps. Maybe it'll be useful. I have no idea. But let's do that. Also, we've got a new character models in this game. So I'm rocking here this awesome mustache. <laughs> this new haircut. And hey, I'm going to get these rags now. Just in case if zombie attacks us, I'll be able to use these rags to stop the bleeding or something. Okay, we have here one more garage. Welcome. Please tell me a few screwdrivers. I just want to get like at least three or something screwdrivers because there is no way I'll be able to open up every single lock inside of that police department today, but I'd love to open up at least a few of them. Imagine if we get a gun today. That'd be epic. We've just started. Okay, and these boxes were completely empty. Okay, so that garage had nothing useful. Okay, sometimes these wells might have some water. Okay, I've just heard some zombies. That dude might be over here. So let's just get it right now in the head. And that is it. I think it's kind of quiet. So let's check if this well has any water. Okay, so 0% full. Sometimes these wells have water and then you can drink. So make sure to check these wells. Oh my goodness, the zombie. It dodged my shot. Ooh, we have gotten something. We've gotten this waste bag. Let's get it. So inside of this waste bag, we can already store here some more items. That is absolutely lovely. So we're already getting kitted out. Look at this waste bag here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We have the drip in this game, and you know what? I kind of like this jacket. It is it is obviously destroyed, but I think it looks kind of cool. All right, so let's hop into some of these buildings. Usually, I had lots of success with these two-floored buildings, these two-story buildings. Sometimes they have backpacks, but the keyword is sometimes, as you don't always get them. Okay, here we have another wardrobe, but nope, nothing here. Sometimes you could find backpacks on beds. I haven't found a backpack on beds in a really long time. I mean, on this bed, we only found some of this absinthe father, but yeah, sometimes you can find backpacks. It's been a while since I found one on the bed, but I do believe it is possible to find them there. Okay, so over here, there's this drill press. And using this drill press, you can grab bullets. But for that, you have to have all the right items for it. I mean, I can quickly show you and give you a tour. So we can grab these 9mm bullets. But for that, we need to have metal parts, gunpowder, lead plates. Then we need to have like this drill press and a toolbox. We have gotten here some gloves. I will probably equip them because for those who didn't know, the more you loot, you can start getting hand abrasions. I mean, I still haven't gotten them, but I might as well just equip these gloves. I don't want to get any hand abrasions. Even when you get those hand abrasions, it's not... It's nothing too crazy. It's all fine. It's not like your character will die. But if you do loot like dozens and dozens of boxes nonstop, you might damage your hands here. So I will get the gloves. Hello. Okay, there's one more zombie sleeping here. I think I've gotten comments from people saying that you can sell CD players and we have a CD player here. I've never, I don't even know why I need this at the very beginning. It is stupid to take that CD player, but I've gotten some comments from you saying that you can sell that stuff for like three or something hundred cash. I think we've gotten new paints. So let's equip these new jeans. There we go. We have a lot more storage. I'm going to just get rid of these inmate paints. I'm going to leave them here. I don't even have to chop them down into rags. I think we already have a decent amount of rags and plus there's an onion. It's at 67% durability. Also, sometimes food will be at low durability it'll be rotten or something so be careful once you start eating your character might say something this tastes funny then just click escape and stop eating that stuff so we've just eaten this onion we've gotten 30 calories all right thank you very much for something i ate that and i appreciate it and there we go there's the police department and i want to loot it i really really want to loot it but i'd love to get at least a few screwdrivers first because going there without the screwdriver is just kind of silly what do we have here uh, sweatpants, green sweatpants. Because this is our character with jeans, and there we go. Here we equip the sweatpants. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but whatever. I will prefer to have these jeans. Even though I'm pretty sure that sweatpants are more comfortable than these jeans. But I am not the one wearing them, so who cares? We have found some more threads. We can get a bone needle. Oh, plus we've gotten a bike leather jacket. So we can get rid of this fighter jacket that we have here. Firefighter jacket. And let's drop all of the loot from this firefighter jacket into here. 
the jacket is already a bit more repaired, so I love that. Now, all we need to do is perhaps kill the zombie. We can chop it up into pieces, but I don't have a knife anymore. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this thread. I will get a better thread. Actually, I get two threads. So we didn't get anything else here, and I don't have anything to chop up those zombies with. I mean, I did have a knife, but it broke, so I'll have to craft another knife. I have no idea if I've looted this place or I haven't. I don't think so. And I think I see a backpack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this. Oh, no, that's a, that's a hat, not a backpack. I'm an idiot. There's a zombie there. Okay, let's just get it. Hello, sir. Welcome, mister. Goodbye, mister. Okay, this place can also have screwdrivers, so let's not forget to loot these boxes, because I've almost left this place. Okay, we've got a fishing reel. Believe it or not, I have never fished in this game. I have over 400 hours in this game, but I have never fished. I'll definitely need to try fishing one day. I still have no idea how to fish. I definitely would love to try that. I wish there was like some sort of a quest, like in Rust, fishing. I wish we could fish in this game as well. Oh no. This zombie took us three shots to kill it because I missed most of my headshots. Sometimes you won't be able to pick up those arrows, then just loot this zombie fully and then those arrows will disperse and you'll be able to get these arrows that way. Over there we have a pharmacy. That's going to be a pharmacy. I want to loot that before we go into the PD. Hello? Mister, so I don't even know why we have crafted the spear as I'm not really the biggest fan of it and check this out We've looted the zombie. We've gotten the broken screwdriver. That's what I am talking about. Let's get that broken screwdriver We will be able to loot at least one one locker there. That is great Maybe I should be looting more of those zombies. It does take quite a while to loot them So maybe later on in the game. It's not worth it. But at the very beginning I think they're useful Okay, so let's get a few of these schmucks and that's a bicycle! Please tell me it has the wheels! No, it doesn't have the back wheel. And can I, like, disassemble it or something? I can't do anything with this bike. I can only set a name. It's so silly. It does have a wheel, but do these bikes have different wheels or something? I never tried assembling a bike. I don't even know what kind of tools we need for that. Oh no, oh no, ladies and gentlemen. How about I... Oh my goodness, I'll have to get my spear. Let's deal with this guy with the spear. I did put my melee uh, on medium, or on basic skills, I guess. Oh my goodness, this guy is pretty strong. Just die, sir! Oh my goodness, he's still alive. Okay, we did it. We absolutely did it. I am not dead. <laughs> that is great. Okay, so do I need to loot the zombie? Does it have an arrow? I don't care. Maybe it has some screwdrivers in it. Nope, we did not get any screwdrivers. We got nothing. So continuing the topic about these bicycles, I have no idea if I can get another wheel or something. If I can get this back wheel and bring it back to the gas station, I don't think I can do that. I cannot even interact with this bicycle. Actually, I need to learn how to repair these bicycles as I've never tried repairing them. All right, we have a few more buildings. You know what? I'll hop in this building, then a few more garages, and then we have the police department. And also the pharmacy, let's not forget about that. We have another CD player. You know what, I'll drop this stupid CD player. I don't need it. We are pretty far away from any of these traders. And there's no way I'm going to be bringing the CD player everywhere. Okay, we have gotten a kitchen knife. I love that. Let's get it. Let's add that kitchen knife in my waste bag. There we go. Actually, maybe I'm going to put this knife in the woodcutter shirt. It only has two slots and we got it. That's beautiful. Wait, have I looted this building? Apparently I haven't, so let's check this out because sometimes we can also find screwdrivers here. I mean, you can find screwdrivers in places where you'd expect to find screwdrivers. In some sort of workshops. And we've gotten a Kruger. Ooh, that's a nice pistol. Semi-automatic pistol. Let's get it. I don't have any bullets for it. We need .22 caliber bullets, and those bullets are relatively common. Plus, we've gotten a small toolbox. I will totally get it inside of this waste bag. Wait, we have a toolbox, so now maybe I can do something with that bicycle. Okay, let's try it out. If I can do that, if I can steal the wheel, maybe I'll be able to attach that wheel somewhere else and check this out. We did get a screwdriver. That's what the doctor ordered. Okay, we will loot that stuff later. I want to go back to that bicycle and I want to see if it's possible to repair it or to get rid of that wheel or something. Because we don't need to repair it. We can't repair it. I don't have any wheels. Okay, how about I get that toolbox in my hands? Still can't do anything with it. I can only set a name, let's say, an iron horse. Let's name it an iron horse. That's it, I can't do anything with it. I can only examine the bike, but there's nothing I can do. Okay. Maybe we need, like, some sort of a hammer, a sledgehammer. Sometimes we need that. Maybe that's what is needed to do anything with this bicycle. I don't know. In any case, let's up over here. More screwdrivers. I'm already happy that we've gotten at least three of them. We have three uses of those screwdrivers. I can open up at least three locks. And I said that I want to open up at least three locks. So that's what the doctor ordered, kinda. 
I can get the smartphone battery. Uh, it'll be used to charge up maybe something like a flashlight or something else. Okay, so we'll keep that garage open. I will go here. And I want to loot a few of these buildings before we go into the main building. As I said, we need more screwdrivers. Um, my arrows. We have these earplugs. I will get them because if you don't have those earplugs and if you shoot a gun, your ears start ringing in this game. It's not really bad, but it's still better to have those earplugs. Those earplugs don't really muffle the sound. Your ears just stop ringing from gunshots and that's pretty much it. But nothing else is affected by these earplugs, which is kind of weird. Everything should be muted, but okay. Another garage. Welcome, sir. We have, what is this? Okay, more jeans. Look like some sort of a vest. Anything useful inside of these boxes, perhaps? Uh, we've gotten a lockpick. I will get that lockpick. We kind of don't need that stuff as we already have the bobby pins and you can take out those bobby pins out of the box and then you can craft lockpicks that way. Ooh, another grocery store. I want to check it out. Plus, there is another zombie chilling. Well, I'll stop that zombie from chilling then. We've gotten a pear. How about I eat it? I'll just shove everything into my mouth. As you can see in the down left corner, I'm at 68% fullness. Well, basically, I am a little bit hungry, kind of. Just a tiny bit, so let's eat a bit. Sometimes here we can find good stuff behind the counter. Sometimes here we can find a rifle or something. We've gotten more cash. I will take that. However, I can't seem to find any .22 bullets because we've gotten that pistol. Do we need a magazine for it? We probably do. I don't even have a magazine for that pistol yet. So it's kind of useless. I'll be completely honest. Okay, there are a few more garages and more places to loot. Beautiful. And then we'll be able to go into that police department. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Because it kind of doesn't make sense to go into that police department when you can't loot it anyways, when you don't have enough screwdrivers, you might as well just loot all of the garages first. And once you loot that, then you can go into that police department. So that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to do here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, they made these zombies a little bit quieter. They were a bit louder. Now you can't really hear them yell. I can bet that before those zombies were louder. Or maybe I'm just confusing something. Okay, we have gotten what here? A like a door. Where is it even? Okay, it's over there. It's cool, but there's nothing we can do with it. We also have this canister with fuel. How big is it? Okay, so it has only two out of 40 fuel. Kind of uh, almost empty, basically. Not that big of a deal. And another screwdriver. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I did not go to the police department yet. Now I think we should be able to loot it properly. I don't know. And another screwdriver. Okay, lovely, lovely. I have no idea how many lockers are there, but the more screwdrivers, the better. Okay, I think a zombie has just woken up in this building. Whatever, I'll put it out of its misery. Hello, sir. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm glad that this zombie was kind of silly, kind of slow. Sometimes they're faster. Sometimes they will attack you, and sometimes they'll just stare at you. Alrighty, and let's go this way. We have one more garage to loot. And then also, let's not forget about the pharmacy. Pharmacy is decent because it has some medical items. And on top of that, if you don't need to use those medical items, you can sell them. And usually traders pay a nice price for it. So I will be looting that. Oh, we have a small gasoline canister. Thank you, but no, it's not a full one. If it was a 20 out of 20 gasoline canister, maybe I would do something about it. Maybe I'd try to carry it with me. But a 2 out of 20 is not really worth it at all. Okay, so I kept going and I have no idea where I'm located, but hey, there's one more garage and it's still closed. That means I haven't looted this place yet, so let's check it out. Empty, empty, whole lots of emptiness. I mean, again, if every single box had here a lot of screwdrivers, then I'd have too much loot. I wouldn't be able to carry it already. Like, please, at least a tiny broken screwdriver. Also, there are some clouds coming. Ladies and gentlemen, it will rain. Maybe not today, but someday it will rain here. Now we have one more garage and this pharmacy. Hello. Okay, we just had some duct tape, a random pen. I can hear some zombies yell, but it doesn't really look like they're coming here. So that's good. We'll accept that. And that is it. Emptiness. A can opener. I don't want it. So I let's hop into this pharmacy. Usually there are a few zombies here, but it depends. Hopefully it didn't make here too much noise. Because it's a lot easier to go on the second floor and kill them when they are asleep. Okay. There are two zombies. There are definitely two zombies. Okay, got him. Whew, we've gotten a needle. We could have gotten that needle by chopping up a zombie and then chopping up those bones into needles. But we got a needle, so now I can craft this improvised sewing kit because I had some threads. And now with that improvised sewing kit, I'll be able to repair some of my clothes. 
like this biker leather jacket, then I can repair my... I don't even know what I want to repair. Yeah, I'll just repair this biker leather jacket so that I don't have this red icon over here. There we go, let's repair that. And there we go, beautiful. Other than that, I will probably save my improvised sewing kit. Here we have gotten some more cash, my arrows. Every single box here was absolutely empty. All right, so the second floor didn't really have a lot of great loot. Here we've gotten some activated charcoal. Why do I need it? I mean, I don't know if I want it, honestly. I don't know if I can even sell that stuff for a nice price. I think it's very cheap. Usually painkillers are expensive. I think you can sell a full box of painkillers for like 900 or something cash. We've gotten more activated charcoal. You know what? I'll just, I don't even know, man. Do I want it? For now, we have space in my backpack. Once I start running out of that space, I will probably drop it. So I've just looted this cash registry, it had nothing. Understandable, have a nice day. How about we loot this building over here? It's like some sort of a store. Sometimes it has food, perhaps water. Okay, let's go to the second floor. The first floor didn't really have lots of... Oh my goodness, I missed it. I knew that I'll miss it because I took my time. Oh, we have probably another parsnip here. How about I eat it? Does it have a lot of durability or not? It's at 83% durability. I can eat that entire parsnip then because my character is still a little bit hungry. My stomach is not at full, so I will keep eating those parsnips. I'll be eating every garbage that I find. Okay, there is another zombie. So yeah, I'd love to find a sledgehammer though. Maybe then I'd be able to disassemble that bicycle. Maybe then I'll be able to get, I don't know, a zap into this police department. Our first police department, ladies and gentlemen. I was ready to shoot a zombie because sometimes when you walk in, there's a zombie sleeping on the floor, but not this time. This time it was empty. We have gotten this Block 21 magazine. I will get it. It fits in my jeans. We have some shotgun shells. I'll get them. I will get them. Plus, we've gotten this military compass. So now we can see southeast. That is great. And it's getting darker. Oh, no. I forgot that there would be a zombie. Uh... Okay, I killed it. I killed it with two headshots. That's good. That is good. How many shots do I have? I have a few more shots. Plus, I've gotten here an AK magazine. Where did I get it from? As I said, once I run out of space, I'll start dropping stuff. Let's get this AK magazine instead of that activated charcoal. Let's get this. There were those lockers, and I will loot them later. First of all, I want to deal with these zombies first, and then I can loot that place peacefully. That way, I can loot it safely. Okay, nothing here. How about I go to the second floor? Hello? Okay, the zombie was... Totally resting. Well, now it can rest permanently. How about I go to the second floor? Oh my goodness. There is a zombie here. It is so weird. They're so quiet. I can barely hear them. Usually they were a lot louder and I don't know if I like that. I mean, I don't know if I like that they're a lot more quiet. Because they're harder to notice now. Okay, let's loot these schmucks. And there still might be a few more zombies inside of this police department. Okay, we've gotten another arrow. I want to get this arrow from this zombie. Okay, and then let's loot around the corner. Okay, we have more arrows. That is it. We still, we still have six of them. That is great. Okay, there is one zombie. Okay, I can get it. Okay, we got it. Anything around this corner? Okay, there was one more. That is it. That is it. I think we have cleared the PD fully. It is now peaceful. Now we can start looting this place properly. So how about we start from the very bottom and then I'll go to those other lockers. So let's loot these basic things and then we'll check out the lockers. How many screwdrivers I got? We have three, four, five, six. I have six uses of these screwdrivers. That is something. Plus I have some bobby pins. You know what? I'll get these 100% durability bobby pins. It doesn't really matter. I just want to get a better looking box. <laughs> That's it. That's all. Nothing here. You know what? Whatever. I'll begin opening this stuff up. Let's start lockpicking it. Except before you lockpick, let's get rid of these gloves. There we go. We have lockpicked one box. And let's see if we got anything here. I don't think you can find backpacks here. Maybe you can. Maybe you cannot. Okay, we've gotten this M1887. Do I want it? I don't have space. I'd have to get rid of my spear now for this shoddy. And I could use it. I could use it even right now, ladies and gentlemen. Call me crazy. I could actually use it because I have some arrows there. Plus, we've gotten a flare gun, which I don't know if I want it. How about we get the shoddy though? And how about I load it up? It's not that bad. How many shots do we have here in total? We have six out of six shots. Let's keep it. We have these green sweatpants. Why do I have them here in my pack? It's stupid. 
So I have what? I have nothing there, but I still have a flare gun. I don't think I'll, I need to actually take it, to be completely, completely honest with you. Too many rags, though. We could get rid of, like, a few rags. Like, I'll never use that flare gun. I need to get flare cartridges to use that stuff. So for now, I'll keep it just for the sake of keeping it, but then I'll probably get rid of it. As it is kind of silly to have it here, at least in my humble opinion. Just take space we've got in this hs sf19 you know what i will get this magazine instead of that flare gun because trust me it's goop it's bad i'd rather have my fists than that flare gun all right there's a zombie on the second floor so how about i use my shotgun but what if it jams i mean i don't care ah that was good that was pretty good can i load it up though and i see another zombie chasing now from the very bottom more of them are coming out of their holes Oh no, I should not have made noise. <laughs> a bit too much noise. Well, it is what it is. That's the sacrifice I was willing to make. Okay, so we found here police gloves. I will get them. I think I lost my wool gloves anyways there on the first floor, so it doesn't matter. Okay, how about I get my bow? And let's continue looting this place. We have two more lockers to loot here, and then we have a bunch of lockers on the first floor. I don't know if I'll have enough screwdrivers for that. Okay, that is something. An AKS magazine. I'll take it for now. It is kind of quiet. All the doors are locked, right? They can't get here. That would be unfair, correct? They cannot get here. Yeah, yeah, they cannot get here. Whatever, let's keep lockpicking it. I think we can lockpick that stuff even with our gloves as this locker. It's pretty easy to lockpick. So let's not bother about it. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'm out of locker, lockpicking things. So we can get a bobby pin. We're out of the lockpicks, lockpicking things. Let's get a lockpick out of this bobby pin box. I mean, we get a bobby pin and then we can craft a lockpick by right-clicking on it. Okay, here we've got an, another AS Val magazine. Okay, it's a different one. It's an AKS magazine and this one was an AS Val magazine. Let's get it. And let's lockpick this thing. And we have lockpicked another lock. What do we have here? Something useful. We've gotten a Tecum 9. Lovely. We have gotten this Tecum 9. Absolutely what the doctor ordered. Can I fit this Tecum 9? Yes, I can fit it, but then I can't use this Kruger. Hmm. And I'll get rid of these threads. There we go. Now we have more space and I can now fit this Kruger over here. I don't know why I want it. I just want to shoot it at least once, then I'll be able to get rid of it because I don't think it's a great weapon. I just want to have it. Is that too much to ask? I just want to have that weapon. I just want to shoot it once or twice and then I'll drop it. Because I don't think I've ever had one. Okay, we have some zombies outside. I mean, I don't really need this. I'd rather use my bow than a shotgun. Believe it or not, it's... I prefer my bow. Let's load that stuff up. Plus, I need to get rid of these red shotgun shells. They're pretty bad anyways. Usually, these boxes also have ammunition. It's like an ammo box. Um, Will the gun jam here? Uh, maybe. Whatever. We'll figure that stuff out a bit later. Now, it's time for us to lockpick these things. So, we need... Four lockpicks, and I only have one more screwdriver. Only, oh no, actually, I have two screwdrivers. Okay, that's better. So I won't be able to loot this police department fully, fully, but at least I looted it semi fully ish. Okay, let's get two of these lockpicks. And just to not mess around, I will drop these gloves. Okay, got one. Lockpick this thing. There we go. We got both of them. And I don't think I have any more screwdrivers. That is it. Here we've gotten a block 21. Okay, okay, some 9mm ammunition. I will take that. We'll need to do something about that block 21, though. And we've gotten the Serpent 357. I have no idea, ladies and gents. So we have here some ammunition. We have some 9mm ammo. We have some block ammunition. Ladies and gents, we already have a gun. Check this out. I can get this block magazine. I can start loading it up. Because in this game, you have to load up bullets one by one. Let's load that stuff up. Now I can add this magazine into my block. There we go. And now I can add this thing on my quick slot on number three. There we go. I should be able to shoot these zombies. But at the same time, like, we only have a few bullets. So maybe I'll save those bullets. Okay, let's not waste these bullets yet. I'm kind of sad that I had to drop this Kruger here. But for this Kruger, I'm sure we had to have some... Maybe a magazine or something. It's not going to be that great of a weapon. I'm sad to drop it, though. I'm really sad to drop it. I wanted to keep it. Okay, there are a few zombies. Can I get two, two headshots with one shot? I don't think so. You see? There we go. The, the shotgun just got stuck there for no reason. Sometimes it gets stuck. Sometimes it doesn't get stuck. So, I, I don't know. I don't like it. I said that many times. 
I'm not the biggest fan of these shotguns. That's why I don't like using them. I need two more screwdrivers, then I'll be able to loot that PD fully. But... Ah, sleep! Stop looking at me like that with those stupid eyes! We've gotten firefighter paints. Do these firefighter paints have more storage? Nope, they don't, so I, I'll keep my jeans. Oh no, the zombie just hit me! Unbelievable! Okay, let's get these wooden arrows. And if you're new here to this channel, usually I used to play with zombies doing 10 times or 100 times more damage than usual, so they would just kill us with one attack. And this time I decided to not do that because it got kind of annoying. I was scared to care of every single zombie, and now when we have these better bunkers, it'll be basically impossible to loot them when those zombies do 10 times more damage. So now these zombies are just basic zombies. I'll still keep increasing the zombie spawn count every single episode, but they won't be doing an absurd amount of damage. So while crafting some more rope, I found some more cherries. Let's eat all of those cherries. That's at least something for us to eat. Well, that is it. I have my hammer. How about we do something with this bike? All right, so I've just done some research and in order to remove this wheel, you don't have to have anything in your inventory. All you have to do is just look at this wheel and then you can remove this ba bag bike wheel, whatever. To put it back, all you have to do is just look at the bike and then you can install the wheel. And I've also done some research and you won't be able to mix and match those wheels. This is a mountain bike and the other bike was the city bike. So I won't be able to match those wheels anyways. So it is time for us to leave this town and psych from the future, cross off this place off the map. Also cross off that gas station off the map because I don't like to reload the same locations in the same series. So every time I loot a location, I just cross it off the map. That way we get to explore more locations. We've gotten here some decent loot. We've gotten this Tecum 9, we have this Block 21, but hey, that was just the beginning of our adventure and I cannot wait to go and explore those new bunkers. But we're gonna start working towards that in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check out my Days Gone Let's Player. Click on the second card and it'll go my Dying Light to Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And see you in the next one.